Hello everyone, welcome to the playlist on training on competitive examination. In this session, I will be discussing most important questions on 8085 microprocessors. In the previous session also, I have discussed few important questions related to 8085 microprocessor. I request you to watch those particular video first. Later, you can come back to this particular video. Baller continuation only. First of all, we have to understand what is a bit and byte and word. You know that uh, bit is the smallest unit or we can call it as a bit is a fundamental storage unit of a computer memory. So digit of the binary number or code is called bit. For example, consider a binary code 1001. Zero, zero, one. Here you can able to see these are the bits 100. Zero, zero. These are the bits. And this is a fundamental storage unit. And also one relation you have to remember. 1 byte is equal to 8 bit. Okay. And also uh, 16 bit binary number or code is called as word. What is a word? 16 bit binary number. So you can expect some questions related to these points. And also you need to understand the bus. Why bus is required? Actually bus is a group of conductors to transfer the signals. To transfer and uh, to address and uh, to transfer the control signals etc. In fact, there are three types of buses in 8085 microcontroller. You know, the first type of buses are known as A bus or address bus. It is having only one direction. If I talk about the D bus or data bus, it is a bi-directional bus. And the third type of bus is known as control bus. It is also known as C bus. It is, a, it is also a unidirectional bus. One of the important question, address bus and control bus are unidirectional and uh, data bus is known as bi-directional bus. So you can able to go through more points on this particular uh, points. And uh, let me know why data buses are bidirectional the answer is kept in the next slide so why data bus is bidirectional because uh, the microprocessor has to fetch the data from the memory that is true or any type of input devices for processing and after processing it, it has to store the data to the memory or output device hence data bus is bidirectional both the read and operation read and write operation should be carried out that is why we can say that a data bus is a bidirectional bus and one more thing, why address bus is unidirectional? Because the address is an identification number used by the microprocessor to identify or access a memory location for input out device. It is an output signal from the processor. So only one direction of course. So that is why address bus is unidirectional and uh, the data bus is bidirectional. You have to understand what is opcode and operand, very important. Uh, regarding the opcode, see opcode is also known as operational code. Uh, it is a part of an instruction and also you can say that it is a directive that identifies a specific operation. Okay, we will be discussing when I discuss about addressing mode, I will be discussing what is opcode and operand separately. Regarding the operand, operand is a part of instruction or directive that represents a value on which the instruction acts. This is a difference between opcode and operand. Okay, for example, one uh, addressing instruction you can MVI, AB. Here, these are the operands. You can see A and B are called operands. I have selected 10 questions. I request you to go through these questions and uh, kindly note down the right answer in your notebook or a paper. Definitely, I am going to discuss individual questions. While discussing, kindly verify the correctness. So that whenever you are preparing for competitive examination, this is this will be re, this will be really helpful. Okay, so please take care each and every question. Yes, there are ten questions. Let me come down. Let us start discussion from first questions onwards. Yes. So please read the question first. Dash is a fundamental storage unit of a com computer memory. We have already discussed what is a bit, byte, word, code, etc. Actually, bit is a fundamental storage unit. Please select option A. Uh, question number 2. It is the question related to memory. Two, 2 to the power 20 is known as dash. You know that 2 to the power 10 means 1 kilobyte. 1K. Therefore, 2 to the power 20 means 2 to the power 10 into 2 to the power 10. Correct, no? So, this will this become 1K into 1K. It becomes 1 mega. Okay, 1 mega. So, I, I have to select 1 megabyte. So, please select option B. I think it is very clear. 
okay this will be really helpful for the upcoming examination and please look at the question number 3 2 to the power 30 that means 2 to the power 10 into uh, 2 to the power 10 into 2 to the power 10 correct 1k multiplied by 1k multiplied by 1k so that means it becomes 1 giga so I have to select option C option C is the correct answer it become 1 giga please remember this next I have to show another question 2 to the power 50 what is 2 sorry before that let me discuss question number 4 uh, 2 to the power 23 2 to the power 23 is nothing but 2 to the power 20 into 2 to the power 3 correct so 2 to the power 20 is nothing but how much 2 to the power 20 so 2 to the power 20 we have already discussed that is 1 mega so 1 mega into what is 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 3 is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 it is actually 8 so it is nothing but the 8 mega i have to select option b question number 5 2 to the power 50 is known as uh, 1 peta 1 petabyte select 2 to the power 50 is equal to 1 petabyte it is the right answer c you can go ahead with option c question number 6 2 to the power 46 anyway 2 to the power 46 can be written as 2 to the power 40 into uh, 2 to the power how much uh, 6 so what is 2 to the power 40 so 2 to the power 40 can be called as 1 tera 1 tera into 2 to the power 6 okay so you please evaluate the value of 2 to the power 6 okay that means 2 into uh, 2 into 2 similarly 2 into it is better to by heart this so 8 into 8 8 into 8 is nothing but 64 okay so 64 tera so i have to select option b 64 terabyte question number 7 uh, what is the uh, uh, first commercially successful microprocessor? Of course, you can select option uh, B, 8085. Okay. The, afterwards, the Intel could able to find out the breakthrough after uh, implementing 8085 because the, the selling rate, the, the commercial, it's one of the commercial successful computers. So, afterwards, they could able to uh, have a very good profit, had a very good profit. Question number 8. The capacity of arithmetic and logical unit ALU in 8085 micro capacity of ALU of 8085 should be uh, six, 8 bit not 16 bit uh, it's a confusing fact actually 8 bit the right answer is 8 bit okay please remember this you have to study about the details on ALU and the number of available data lines in 8085 how many number of available data lines are available data lines in 8085 so it is actually 8. There are 8 number of data lines available in 8085 microprocessor. Please select option A. The last question. How many number of address lines are available in 8085 microprocessor? Actually, there are 16 address lines are available in, the, in case of 8085 microprocessor. So, you can able to get different type, the similar kind of questions or in a, or else in an application level questions. Anyway, these fundamentals are required for going ahead with a higher level. So, uh, we, ha we have discussed 10 important questions which are related to uh, microprocessor. Hope you have evaluated the individual answer. Okay, if you, are ha if you are having any queries, you can put up in the comment box. If I need to add more points, please put up in the comment box. Surely, I will be updating with you. Finally, thank you for watching this video.